Hello everyone, I'm Wyvern Force Gaming, and I am still playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Crystal Isles map. Now, Ark Ascended has been released in early access on PC, and it's about what I expected. Ark Survival Evolved, buggy, and poorly optimized. And because of that, it's very difficult to find an affordable GPU that can play it decently and have a good experience. Now, the PS5 and the Xbox Series S and X version of the game has been delayed. I don't have a PS5 or an Xbox Series S or X. I'm curious to see how well the consoles can play it. But for right now, Arc Ascended is too poorly optimized. And I am going to wait for Wallachar to try to fix that. So I'm still going to play Arc Survival Evolved because I'm playing it on PS4 and it plays really good. Alright, I have some dino eggs I want to hatch. Right now I got four raptor eggs. Now the Carcharodontosaurus has more eggs. Got some copy eggs. Capra eggs. Pretzel eggs, some more raptor eggs, and tech parasaur eggs, and tropio gigantha eggs. Okay, the eggs are incubating. Now I'm going to wait for them to hatch. And I have the hatch speed set as fast as I can get it. Alright, the eggs are getting close to hatching. There's one, two, three, and four. Four cute little baby raptors. Claim you and... give you some food okay there we go claim you and I also have the cuddle interval set as fast as I can get it Claim you. I do not want to harvest that bush. I want to give you some food. Okay. Okay, this one wants to go on a walk. That would want some prime fish meat. I might actually have some. Not sure. That one wants to go on a walk. And this one. Wants to cuddle. Okay, I'm going to see if I have some prime fish meat. Okay, I got some cooked prime fish meat. These two want to go on a walk, so I'm going to do that first. Okay, there we go. Okay, gave you some prime cooked fish meat. Now for this one. What's that kettle? Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to continue to give them cuddles.
All right, I moved the baby raptors over here. They are all 100% imprinted. This one is purple and blue. A little bit of orange. And it is a girl. This one is light yellow and light brown. And it's also a girl. This one is a girl as well. And she's dark green, black, and a little bit of white. Cool. This one is a boy. And he's light green, darker green. Blue and pink feathers. Very nice colors. And this one is... 205. 205, 202. That one is 229. And this one's 207. Cool. Okay. I got some more raptor eggs I'm going to hatch. All right, going to drop the raptor eggs. And there we go. Now I'm going to wait for them to hatch. This one is getting close to hatching. And there it is. And there's that one, and that one, and that one. Four more cute baby raptors. Claim you, and you. Now to give them a little bit of meat. Claim you and you. Okay, there we go. Now to get them 100% imprinted. Okay, wants to go on a walk. Now to wait for the other ones. Alright, going to hatch the last of the raptor eggs. Now I'm going to wait. Okay, I picked the eggs back up. This one is getting very close to hatching, and I'm going to try to get them to hatch at the same time. Close enough. There's one. There's two. Three and four. There we go. Okay. 
claim you. Give you a little bit of meat. Claim you. Okay, claim to you. Claim you. Now, this one. Need to split the meat. And there we go. Okay, this one wants some kibble, so I'm going to be putting that one in a cryopod. That one wants a tinto berry. And that one wants some kibble. Okay, see what this one wants. And wants some kibble, so three of them are going to get put in a cryopod. Alright, all the raptors are all grown up and 100% imprinted. This one is a 207 male. This one is a 197 female. This one is a 231 male. This one is a 205 female. This one is a 221 male. This one is a 229 female. This one is a 202 female. This one is a 205 female. And I did check them for mutations. The purple one does have a random mutation. So that's cool. This one is a 2010... 2010? 210 female. This one is a 197 male. And this one is a 227 male. And this one also has a random mutation. Pretty cool. And this one is a 207 female. And all of them are pretty cool colors. So now... I'm going to start to hatch the Capro eggs. Okay, going to drop the eggs and wait for them to hatch. Okay, and they are incubating. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's four eggs. So she didn't eat one. Okay, they're getting close to hatching. There's one. There's two, three, and four. Okay. Claim you. Four cute little baby capros. And claim you. Now to give them a little bit of food.
and get them 100% imprinted. Do not get any ideas. Okay, this one, once they go on a walk, once they go on a walk, wants to cuddle, and this one wants to go on a walk. Okay, cool. All right, the Capras are all grown up and 100% imprinted. This one is a 211 male. This one is a 196 male. And this one is a 220 male. And this one is a 215 male. And none of them have mutations. I got four more capro eggs I'm going to hatch. Okay, going to drop the eggs. Pick up that meat. Okay, now I'm going to wait for them to hatch. The eggs are getting close to hatching. There's one, two, three, and four. Four more baby capras. Claim you. Claim you. And you. Okay. Give them a little bit of meat. Okay, there we go. Now, these are the last eggs I'm going to hatch for right now. I'm going to do the other ones later. Still got some compi eggs. Quetzal eggs. Tech Parasaur eggs. And Tropio Gigantha eggs. Okay, wants to go on a walk, wants to cuddle, wants to go on a walk, cool, and this one, wants cooked fish meat. Going to have to see if I have some of that. All right, the Capros are all grown up and 100% imprinted. This one is a 203 male. This one is a 187 female. This one is a 196 male. And this one is a 187 female. So not the highest levels. Pretty neat colors. And all the Capros that I hatched, none of them have mutations. So there they are. All 
All right, I know where there is a cave. I'm going to hop on a Managamar and head out to where it's at and see what's in it. Okay, that's not the direction I thought I was going to go. <laughs> I think the cave is over here, and there it is. And I can get the Monagamar in here, that is cool. Okay. There is an artifact in here. That is really cool. Now this is the artifact of the clever. Come on, take it. Okay, there we go. That is my second artifact. Very cool. And definitely a very, very cool cave. Quite a bit of crystal in here. I would like to get up to that. There we go. Boy, come on. There we go. I think the artifact came back. And it did. So I can get two of them. Wonder how far this cave goes. Okay, going to see how far I can go with the Monagamar. Looks like that's all the further I can go. Okay, I'm going to leave her right here. Okay, there's some ruins. Okay, there's some silica pearls. Definitely a very, very cool cave. Okay, more ruins. Cool. And this goes out over here. Okay, cool. Now to head back to the Managamar. That looked weird. Huh. There's a uh, blue line right there.
That is very weird. We're going to hop on her and head back out. It'd be funny if I can't get her out. Okay, there we go. I got her out. Cool. I'm going to head back to base. I think I got stuck on this Dilopsaur. Now the Dilopsaur is dead. Oh look, there's another one. And that one's dead. Back at base. With... My second artifact. Cool. Definitely going to have to make another artifact pedestal. I made the artifact pedestal. And there's the artifact. Cool. Alright, had some raptor eggs and some capra eggs and found an artifact. It's time to end the video if you watched to the end and enjoyed it. Hit the like button and thanks for watching.